Well, the Gasparilla Music Festival, it begins today, but before you can enjoy the fun, you're going to need a negative COVID test or proof of vaccination. Now, fans will not be let in without one of those COVID precautions. Organizers say masks will not be required, but they're available and handwashing stations are already set up. The great thing about Curtis Hickson and Kylie Garden is there's lots of space to spread out. If you want to social distance, you can find a little uh, part of the park and listen to the music and chill. Now, organizers are recommending fans download the Bindle app. They say it's the quickest way to store and access proof of your vaccination or your negative test. And eight on your side, Brianna Villegas live this morning from Curtis Hickson Park, where the Gasparilla Music Festival will be taking place. Brianna, you've been there all morning. You already got the party started there, huh? Hey there, yes, we are already jamming today. So this is just one of the bands that will be performing at the Gasparilla Music Festival. This is Bad Cameo. They'll be performing on Saturday. So this is going on on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as well. It's not just music that you can enjoy. There's also a bunch of beer from Copper Tail, and there's also a lot of other local vendors serving things like tacos, cookie dough, and even Cuban sandwiches. So here to tell us a little bit more about you know the charity that this benefits is Kelly Busting. Thank you so much for being here. Of course, thank you for having us. Yes, so Recycle Tunes, that gives students, kids, those instruments that they need in classrooms. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure, so uh, the Gasparilla Music Festival and the Gasparilla Music Foundation, we're, we're one of the only nonprofit music festivals that happens. Um, and all of the proceeds from this event go to our Recycled Tunes program, which is a program that funds um, music programs and, instru and provides instruments to kids of Title I schools here in Tampa Bay area. So last year, just to give you an idea of how the impact of, the, of this program, um, last year we were able to provide 595 instruments to kids in schools and also provide really necessary funding to help keep these programs alive. Wow, that is really, really awesome. So can you talk about you know the importance of music? I was talking to you earlier and you said there's not a lot of things you can do without music. Yes. So, I mean, I was saying, I think as children, our love for music follows us into our adulthood. I mean, I know that for me, music brings back memories of all kinds of things, and it's why I'm so you know heavily involved with Gasparilla Music Festival and everything they do, because I think that music gives kids an opportunity to communicate and express themselves at a young age. Thank you so much, Kelly, for giving us a little rundown on what to expect and how this benefits kids. Yeah, Thank thanks you. so much. Great. So, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, there is still some time to get tickets to listen to bands just like this. You can head to our WFLA app for more information on how to get tickets. In Tampa, I'm Brianna Villegas, 8 on your side.